Hold the phone. Have you ever seen a yellow DVD case before? Holy crap. What's up guys and welcome back to Mid-Level Media for another awesome and exciting Blu-ray hunting video. And I'm back here on Wednesday again. I didn't have time to get out yesterday to do the Blu-ray hunting. And to be honest, it doesn't seem to matter what day I go on. The store shelves are never fully stocked. They never have their stuff out. Uh, so right now, guys, I'm outside of Best Buy. I'm going to go in there first because they have all the new steelbooks that release this week. And I'm hoping that I at least get to see one, maybe two, maybe three of the new steelbooks that came out this week at Best Buy. We had the uh, Halloween 1978 steelbook, that cool uh, fall cover one uh, that I went over on my physical media report yesterday, which you can check out. Also, guys, they got an Evil Dead 1 and 2 4K steelbook in there that I'm hoping that they have as well. And they released the Mad Max Fury Road 4K on a steelbook of that. So three new steelbooks in Best Buy um, that I'm hoping to catch a glimpse of. At least one, maybe two, maybe three. Who knows? But also, guys, what came out today, we got uh, the silent scene. It was some... Uh, Nicholas Calder Waldo, uh, Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones movie. Um, that might be in store shelves and like Target and stuff. Uh, beyond that, there's not really a whole lot that I think that we're going to catch in stores today. Of course, the Elephant Man released on Criterion. That's probably not going to be in any stores. Uh, Ghost Ship released from Shout Factory. That's probably not going to be in any stores. So not a real store-heavy release day. But I'm outside of Best Buy right now. We're going to go inside. We're going to see what they got. Let's do it. We're at Best Buy, guys, and here we go. All right, guys, let's check out the new releases. And nothing. Let's see. Whiplash Steelbook. Yeah, it honestly doesn't even seem like they put out any other steelbooks or anything, which doesn't surprise me. All right, guys, now we're in the steelbook section. They have an Avatar The Last Airbender Steelbook Collection set. I haven't seen that. But yeah, nothing. Nothing over here as well. I guess I'm going to ask for them. Let's ask for them. All right, guys. So uh, that was disappointing. They didn't have any of the steelbooks. Um, they just said they didn't have them or they sold out, even though um, they didn't even have spots for them. But... So no Best Buy exclusive steelbooks to show off today. I'm not gonna drive all the way over to another one just for them to tell me the same thing. So um, right now I'm gonna walk over to this Dollar Tree and see if they got anything. Alright guys, so I just got out of the Best Buy and then I went over to the Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, the Best Buy, that, as I said, they didn't have any of the steelbooks, so I didn't get any shots of those. They told me that they sold out of the Evil Dead one and they didn't even have the Halloween or Mad Max to begin with, is basically what she was telling me. And they didn't even have it available to order online for in-store pickup. I had to order it offline entirely. So. I've seen people go to the stores and find them, so I don't know if it's just this Best Buy, but I have another Best Buy, um, but it's like 20 minutes away. I don't feel like driving all the way over there just for them to tell me the exact same thing. So I, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get uh, shots of those steelbooks up close, but it's okay. I, I didn't want to be tempted to buy them anyway, because I probably would have bought that Halloween one if I saw it, and I, I honestly don't need it. I already have the Halloween 4K. 
Um, but let us let me show off what I grabbed in Best Buy because I did pick up some things. I grabbed some stuff at the Dollar Tree. I grabbed some stuff at the Best Buy. Let's go over what I picked up in the Best Buy because I actually got some cool uh, cool movies for uh, $5.99. Uh, the first one is I'm on kind of a classic movie kick right now. I'm going back and revisiting films from the 30s. You know, 1931 is the year I'm kind of stuck on now. Um, but 1934, I'll get to. And this is a film that came out in 1934, Cleopatra. Uh, Cecil D. DeMille's uh, uh, directed this movie, so I'm excited to watch this at some point. Came out in 1934. It was only $6 in there. It was actually marked down 8 bucks. It was $14 when I went in there a couple of weeks ago because I thought about getting it then um, because I want these classic movies not just to watch them streaming but to, to actually buy physical copies of them. I don't know. I've just been really into collecting like classic movies and older movies lately um, because there hasn't been as much newer stuff coming out, but Cleopatra, I'm excited to check this out at some point. Um, the next one up, guys, is a movie that I've actually never seen, and I actually am very disappointed in myself because I love this man. Um, he's one of my favorite actors of all time. He's one of the funniest comedians of all time. It's Robin Williams in Good Morning Vietnam. Um, I have not seen this film, so I'm excited to watch it. Um, and yeah, R.I.P. Robin Williams. He, he's the best, man. He's the GOAT. Um, I love this guy. I can't wait to watch this movie. Only $6 for this one as well. Um, and yeah, this is a really nice Blu-ray case. Really nice packaging on this one. And um, yeah, can't wait to watch it. So yeah, two movies for 12 bucks in the Best Buy. Now let's get to my <laughs> let's get to my Dollar Tree pickups because I grabbed eight more titles in Dollar Tree. And I just did a video over the weekend talking about my Dollar Tree pickups. Um, so I'll just run through these quick. Most of these are just impulse trash buys. Um, they had some good ones in there though, some decent uh, flicks. They had The Conjuring and they had Insidious Chapter 3 on DVD for a dollar. I already own those movies on Blu-ray, so, um, but if you don't have them, I mean, that's a, that is a great deal to find those for a dollar. Um, both great, uh, well, Insidious Chapter 3 is okay. And it's Lee Whannell's first directed movie, the guy who did Upgrade and The Invisible Man. Um, so if you want to check it out just for that reason to see his, the first movie he directed, it's okay. I'm not going to say that one's great, but The Conjuring, definitely. Masterpiece horror film um, of the past few years. So the first one I got is this movie called Charlie Says. And I actually have been seeing this like on the Walmart shelves, or I don't know if it's out anymore, but I, I have seen it. It is a Shout Factory movie. Um, so it's another movie about the Manson killings, Manson murders, whatever. I'll, I'll check it out at some point, but only a dollar. Yeah, man, you, you can't beat that. And then this next one is Stage Fright. Not sure what this is, um, but it said it's a cross, a cross between Glee and Sleepaway Camp. So <laughs> anytime anybody puts Sleepaway Camp on the cover, it automatically intrigues me. That movie is batshit crazy insane. So yeah, I'm going to watch this one uh, for sure at some point. So lots of horror in here, guys, because... That's honestly the only thing worth owning on DVD is these impulse horror trash buys. Um, the Exorcist, the beginning. Um, this one's directed by Rennie Harlan, who did, I believe, Nightmare on Elm Street 4. He did some other horror movies I can't think of. Um, he might have done Halloween 2. I, I, I don't know. I'll have to, I get him and Steve Miner confused sometimes. But I think Rennie Harlan did Halloween 2, and I think he did Nightmare on Elm Street 4, if I am not mistaken. But you guys will correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure. Um, the Exorcist, the beginning. Um, I remember hating this movie because it sucks and it's not The Exorcist, but um, I'm going to go back and rewatch it with an open mind. Maybe I'll enjoy it a little bit more. Next up, guys, we got The Fun House Massacre. Now, I have heard of this before, um, so it's like it's got Robert Englund in it. That's what kind of intrigued me. Um, and yeah, this movie came out in 2015. Um, shout, another Shout Factory. So, um, clown uh, haunted house murder movie i'll watch it sometime i don't know uh let's get to the next one guys i got a couple blu-rays in here but i'll wait um so <laughs> funny thing guys i bought stage fright twice <laughs> i don't know how i did that um but i bought stage fright twice the cross between glee and sleepaway camp and now i remember picking this one up first and then i went around the store and then i came back and I, I saw it again. I'm like, oh, I didn't. I, I can't remember if I grabbed it already, and I picked it up again. I can't believe that. Um, so, look, guys, if, if you guys want this copy of Stage Fright, um, comment down below saying that you want it, and uh, you know, I'll do like a random giveaway or something. You guys can give me your your address if you feel comfortable. I'll send it to you in the mail. So, random giveaway for Stage Fright. I'll send it to you guys if you comment down below and you want it. 
Um, let's see, the next one up, guys, is Life Itself. This is a documentary I actually watched on Hulu um, a couple of years ago, I think it was, about Roger Ebert and his life and film criticism. It's a really good documentary. Um, I don't know, it's probably still on Hulu, but I just, I don't know, for, for a dollar, I, I thought I'd go ahead and grab it. It's an interesting documentary and a good thing to, good movie to own in my collection. But next up, guys, I got a couple Blu-rays while I was in there. I got this movie called Jack and Diane. I don't know anything about this movie. It's got Juno Temple and Riley Keough in it, which Riley Keough is kind of on fire right now in the indie world. She's doing a lot of good stuff. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd check this out at some point on Blu-ray. So that's an interesting buy right there. And the next one is Frank. Now I remember buying Frank at a Dollar Tree in one of the last sales. I bought it on DVD, but I thought I would go ahead and upgrade it um, for a buck. And it's got Michael Fassbender. It's got uh, Domhnall Gleeson. It's got a really good cast. Um, so I'll check it out at some point and uh, maybe, you know, sell the DVD or give it away or whatever. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and head on to Target. Let's see what they got. Let's see if they got anything new. Then we'll go to Walmart and then we'll, we'll close out the trip. But uh, let's do it. And here we go again. Let's do it, Target. Show us something. All right, guys, so I just got out of Target. I'm pulling out right now. I'm on my way to Walmart. Um, Target actually delivered today. They they actually did. They didn't really have any, like, of the new, new releases, um, which, like I said, there's not really a whole lot coming out this week. They didn't have that Silence movie. Um, but they did. They actually did have some new release because they had those DVD uh, Universal Collections. Now, they didn't have any of the Blu-ray ones that I advertised this week on my physical media report, but they did have the DVD um one they had like a comedy one and an action one they had some separate animated ones they had that uh illumination one but it wasn't the blu-ray it was the dvd 10 film collector set there were some other interesting things in there as well like that eddie murphy 14 film set they had a tom cruise 10 film set um i didn't pay attention like who put those out they were all dvds um like i said i get all my information when i do the physical media report off of blu-ray.com maybe i need to start digging a little deeper um, into DVD releases if you guys are interested in that because it seems to be a lot of bundle packs and a lot of stuff coming out in the DVD space uh, that doesn't get covered on my report because it's not Blu-rays or 4Ks. But um, let me know in the comments below if you want to cover more DVD content. But some other really cool stuff in Target today, guys, was those uh, steelbooks that were originally Best Buy exclusive steelbooks. They were in Target. Now, they do this every now and then. I noticed this a couple of weeks ago when I went into a Target and found that Clueless steelbook um, in there, and I didn't know how it got in there, but I have noticed this type of stuff before. I've noticed it um, mostly from Walmart, though. Walmart will get the old Best Buy exclusive steelbooks 
um, in their store. So I'm not really sure how that works. Um, how if they have a contract with Best Buy and they put all their stuff out there and it's exclusive for a certain amount of time and then they can put the steel books wherever they want. But these were Blu-ray steel books um, and that Joker steel book, I don't think when it was originally released, it had a Blu-ray uh, edition of it. I think it was just steel book only. I could be wrong though. So that means that they re they re put it out in Blu-ray form, which sh shouldn't change the look of the steel book at all. Um, because the 4K is never on the actual steelbook itself. It's only on the little J card. But that was interesting. I really thought about picking that up because it was only $8. And I did like that steelbook, but didn't want to pay 30 bucks when it first came out. But um, it, if it was 4K, I might have done it. And maybe if it was like 12 But I don't know if I wanted the another Blu-ray copy of Joker. If I'm going to double dip, I'm going to get the 4K. Because I didn't get the 4K last time. I got that Target exclusive. But they also had the Wizard of Oz. Um, they had the Halloween still book, which I don't like at all. I like the one that they re-released and I actually have in my collection and I'm glad I own that and didn't buy that, uh, horrible looking still book, but they do have that still book. They had the breakfast club still book. They had the clue, the still book. Um, they had some other ones like total recall. Um, I don't know. I showed them all off in there, but definitely some cool still books in there. Um, if you guys are interested in picking those up as far as like new Blu-rays and stuff in the new release section, it was mostly the same stuff as last week. So um, but definitely see, oh, and they also had those, uh, I covered these, I think last week or the week before, but those best of 90s, best of 2000s, best of 80s collection, they had a couple of those in there as well. So if you want to go to your Target and if you're interested in getting those, those are in Target right now. So that, that was actually pretty cool that we got to see those in the wild. So, um, but yeah, guys, we're on our way to Walmart right now. I'll catch you when we get there. Wally World, we are back. Let's see what Walmart's got for us today. Blu-ray band. I actually got some pretty good stuff in here. All right, so they actually do have the Tom Cruise and Eddie Murphy collections here. These are from Paramount. So, give you a look at what they got. Eddie Murphy collection is thick. So lots of lots of big films. So the collection they got a 20 movie set from the 80s and 90s. Damn, 20 movies. It's a lot of movies. They do have that silencing movie with Jamie Lannister. They have The Legend of Tomorrow, so both new releases this week. Um, Welcome to Sudden Death, I think is new. I haven't seen it before. Uh, let's see what's on the other. They have that Outlander Season 5 that's been selling out across the nation. They do have the Whiplash 4K here. Wonder Woman set with a bracelet. Uh, that's all I'm saying that's new. Unless that NCIS is new. Hold the phone. Have you ever seen a yellow DVD case before? Holy crap. Guys, do I do it? Do I get the vinyl for Footloose? Breakfast Club? Oh, Top Gun. Damn. Purple, right? Guys, they do have that Rob Zombie set here at Walmart. So that's pretty cool. Um, as well as the, the Killer Tattooist. And that's actually on Blu-ray too. They said they only update these like at the first of the month, but I swear every week I come in here I see a new um, original DVD I've never seen before. Alright guys, that's all we got. Let's head out. Alright guys, so that does it for this week's Blu-ray hunting trip. I definitely appreciate you guys joining me today. And like I said, we just got out of Walmart. We found some stuff in there. The silent scene was in there. The Legend of Tormo was in there. Some new releases. Nothing too exciting this week um, outside of those Best Buy Steelbooks, which I didn't even get to, to look at. So I don't know when the best time to go is, guys. Tuesday, Wednesday, who knows? I go when I go. Uh, we have a good time, though. We're out hunting for Blu-rays, and part of the fun of it, you guys are following me on my journey. Um, good or bad, whatever we find, it's all fun. It's all good. So I definitely appreciate you guys watching the video. I appreciate all the support I've been getting, and particularly lately in the past month. It's been amazing how this channel has been growing. 
uh, views going up. You guys are watching my, my stuff. I appreciate it. Um, if you can, if you could be so nice and just like this video for me, just drop me a little bit of like. Uh, comment down below anything interesting that you picked up this week, anything cool you picked up. Um, did you get the Halloween or Evil Dead Steelbooks? Did you find them in your locations? Go ahead and comment down below. I'd be interested to hear it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video, guys, and we'll see you next time.